Hey guys, so I'm trying to hunt elk and there's a tree in front of me across the road. So I hook this towing strap onto the tree and I hooked it to my front axle. We're gonna see if we can break the tree. <laughs> Archery season, elk, spike elk, they could also kill a cow. So let's see how this goes. Uh, it's really nice out here. About 5.25 p.m. And uh, let's see what I can find. Okay, archery failed. I couldn't make it happen, couldn't get close enough, and uh, I kind of suck, apparently. So, um, plan B is, hold on, is something a little more uh, distance oriented. So, if I can find an elk this time, I should be able to shoot it. If not, then possibly I'm underqualified to be hunting. And Uncle Morgan's here. God, as, a, as a guide. God help us. <laughs> oh wait, what are you shooting? 22? Uh, 22 250. BB gun? Chambered in 308. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we can slay some critters. Wish us luck. And uh, here's our camp. It's enormous and freaking awesome. There it is. here Travis Daniel Uncle Morgan and myself and we even have Travis's dad here uh, we have a couple of cow tags to fill and a couple of spike bull elk tags to fill it rained all night it rained so much that it woke me up because it was noisy so just trying to wake up and convince myself that I can go outside
Travis might be peeing right there, but I'm not sure. No, I was putting my pistol on. Then Uncle Travis. For lions and tigers and birds. Uncle Morgan. Good morning. I'm the tourist. Are you still shooting your uh, 22 250 chambered in 308? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And today, special guest, Uncle Jeff. And what are you sniping the elk with today? Ruger Precision Rifle in 308. Ruger Precision. This is his long range uh, setup, or one of his long range setups. As you can see, if we see an elk anywhere out to uh, a thousand yards, it's done. So, elk, you better pray you don't run into Jeff. Well, I shot this spike up on the mountain, at least a mile away, possibly a mile and a half. I've been tracking it for over an hour, hour and a half. Luckily, he ran downhill off the top, so it saves me a lot of uh, carrying meat down the hill. But boy, was it a long track. I kind of shot him poorly up on the top. I didn't get any vitals the first time, so I feel a little bit bad about that. But I was able to catch up to him and finish the job. And there it is. Got him. Just a spike. Now comes the work of gutting him and uh, packing him back to camp. I might go down to the road and hitchhike down. That'll save me some walking. Do a loop. This is the recovery operation. I left the elk up on the mountain overnight. The weather got bad. Everybody was sore. It's where you hang all your meat so the coyotes don't get it. Are you recording? Mm hmm. If it's jumpy footage, I will put a note in there that says Amanda was filming. He it's would too. Jumpy. side of the trail.
we made it back. There's all the packs with all the good stuff in it. You can see the bones sticking out there. That's an entire elk minus a back strap right there in the truck. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and watch my other stuff.